Orphans of the Genocide, the untold story of hundreds of thousands of Armenian orphans. The year was 1915. The place, Anatolia. The persecutors were the Ottoman authorities, and the target was the Ottoman citizens of Armenian ancestry. Join special guests, filmmaker Barrett Moronian and Ken Davidian, live in the Valley PBS studio for the unforgettable premiere of Orphans of the Genocide, airing April 18th, only on Valley PBS. Hi, I'm John Malice, and welcome to this edition of Connect With Me, live on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this Thursday morning, Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6 Live. Today, we'll be talking about a very serious topic. We'll be talking about the Armenian Genocide and a brand new documentary that is coming out tonight. Our phone number here, it's a brand new one, 559-436-6388. Back with our live guest in a moment. talk about the phone number once again because we just installed this brand new phone number this week and it's hard for me to memorize at my age of course area code 559 or area code 866-436-6388 436-6388 is the phone number to call in today to ask any questions about the Armenian genocide and I got to tell you I've been in broadcasting for many many years seen a lot of things a lot of different things and there aren't too many things that really affect me because of what I've seen but I got to tell you something there there are some things that really get to me that send me to the floor in tears and one of them is the genocide of course the Jewish Holocaust it is hard to stomach it is hard to take but ladies and gentlemen it certainly is reality that's what we're going to be talking about orphans of the genocide it's a brand new documentary that you'll see on PBS tonight starting at 7 o'clock let's go to the videotape and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about a couple of nights ago filmmaker Barrett Moronian and actor Ken Davidian hosted a special event at the PBS station right here in Fresno channel 18 that is everyone there watched a 45 minute preview of the documentary orphans of the genocide Moronian and Davidian spoke about the film in detail they took questions they posed for pictures as they shared their personal connection to the genocide now while Davidian is out promoting this film Moronian answers the deeper questions about how he helped produce write and research the project he was the brainchild behind it all the focus is on the orphans some of whom survived some of whom did not survive of course during the Armenian genocide 1915 to 1918 1.8 million plus Armenians were slaughtered. They were murdered during the Ottoman Empire. Moronian spoke about how he had to stop production at least a couple of times during the three-year span because of the lack of money. But he got it done, and here's why. The reason we did this film is because we wanted to tell the story of hundreds of thousands of uh, Armenian genocide orphans. Um, and the reason they became orphans they were, is because they were left parentless because of the uh, uh, Armenian Genocide of 1915 perpetrated by the Ottoman Turks. Do you think it will make an impact? Will it bring awareness to the Armenian Genocide? Our goal here is to spread awareness of the genocide and ultimately prevention of the genocide by way of uh, uh, educational entertainment. Live in our studio now is Ken Davidian. He is an actor best known for playing in the comedy film Barat in uh, 2006. He was born in East L.A. His father served in the Russian Red Army during World War II. We are pleased to have him here to talk about the orphans of the genocide and talk about why, why the Armenian genocide is not recognized. Now keep in mind that documentary can be seen tonight on the PBS station right here in the city of Fresno. That's Channel 18 beginning at 7 o'clock. It is a documentary 
that is written, produced by Barrett Moronian about the Armenian Genocide. Now, your phone calls are much important here to this program. Once again, area code 559-436-6388. Chime in. Put your two cents in on the Armenian Genocide. Very serious topic today on Connect With Me. Back in a moment. Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Welcome back. Our phone number again, and I'm going to pump this up all day long here, 436-6388, talking about the orphans of the genocide. That's a brand new document, documentary written, produced by Barrett Moronian. But actor Ken Davinian is here to promote the film. I'm so pleased to meet you. Thank and you. Thank it's you. It's my I'm, pleasure for you to be here. Thank you for having me. I, I, I really appreciate this because I'm here to promote this, and not just PBS, but the, the film, and it's too great causes so thank you, you know, for having us you know I gotta tell you Ken and I, and I say this in all honesty I mean I've seen a lot in 40 years in broadcasting I've seen a lot of people being maimed and killed why is it that this genocide or even the Jewish Holocaust for that matter why does it bring a lot of people to tears like myself I mean sometimes I, I see these films I see these people suffering I, I collapse sometimes on the floor crying I, I think it's because it was so, so unnecessary. It was just like when a, a regular person looks and sees what was going on, and right now we're, we're semi-helpless yeah. except for telling the world what happened. It's just so overwhelming. How could a human be so cruel to another human? I don't, I don't know. And your thoughts before we get into the film, the documentary, United States has not recognized the Armenian genocide. That seems almost like a second genocide to me. I, it's really been something that the Armenian community has been trying to get done f through president and president and president. And I don't think it's going to happen with this one. Uh, How about our lifetime? <laughs> I, I, well, I have to tell you, I did not think Armenia would be a free and independent country in my lifetime. And that happened. And I, I give credit to uh, Reagan and Thatcher. So it's possible. I, I, it may happen, but it's not going to happen with this administration. Yeah, and of course, Reagan and Thatcher are now both gone. Margaret Thatcher dying yes. just a few weeks ago. Anyway, let's get into the documentary a little bit. I, I was there the other night at uh, Valley PBS station, Channel 18, to see the preview, the 45-minute version. Tonight it's going to air at 7 o'clock. What is it, two hours? I yes, think it's two yes, hours. it's, it's uh, t uh, 7 to 9 on Channel 18, Valley PBS. Tell us about the documentary. It's it's a documentary, and it's something that uh, uh, really I feel guilty that it wasn't something that I thought about before. It's about the orphans of the genocides, and in in battle they 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 call it collateral damage. You yeah. you don't even think you think okay, all these people are being killed, and we were always talking about massacres and how we want to stop that, and then how it happened again uh, in Germany, how it happened in Cambodia. But the reality is that so many children are affected by this that it was staggering to me, and then to find out what they did to these children and what they were trying to do this i had never heard the word turkification right. uh that was a new thing to me and i i know a lot about the genocide right and i want to talk about that in fact you were speaking at the other night at the at pbs valley pbs station during uh the uh preview of the film and you talk about turkified let's take a look and a listen to what you had to say to the audience. Let's turn to the monitor here. I just think it's our responsibility to try to get the rest of the world to know. Because a lot of people in America think this is a new thing that's happening. This is a new, and it's not. It's, I think that the genocide was an act of terror and uh, selfishness and cruelness, and it's still going on. And I, I have to applaud this guy because I'm supposed to announce his name and, uh, and say his name, so I'm waiting. 
Uh, I think what Barrett did, Barrett Maronian, what you did is a start of, of breaking out this shell, because I got to tell you, I had never heard the word, and it, it gave me goosebumps, terrified. I, I had never heard that word before. So. Mm -hmm. This new term that I had never heard before, being Turkified or turfica, uh, Turkification, Turkification, what does that mean? What they were doing was they were taking children from uh, uh, the age zero to 13, and they, they had organized a orphanage somewhere near uh, Beirut, Lebanon, where they were teaching them to become Muslim and teaching them to become Turkish citizens and teaching them the Turkish uh, uh, ways of life and the religion. And it was so interesting to find out that some of these kids were saved because they're, when they were on the march and when their parents knew that this was happening, they were teaching the children their name, their parents' name, and they would sing them a lullaby. And so a lot of these children, they became six, eight, nine years old. And to find out if they were Armenian, you, they would sing the lullaby. And if they reacted to the lullaby, they, they, were, uh, they were taken by some people. And, and, and a lot of people who may not know what the march is, that was a, a, a long walk yeah. for, from where to where? How many miles? 100 miles? Oh, it was more than 100 more miles. Than 100 but miles. it was, it in, was a long in the way. hard desert to get to right. Syria. And all they wanted to do was uh, get everybody in the desert and let them perish by themselves. Yeah, they wanted everyone to just die out there. Yeah, that's all. And, and Because it's not, it's just it's, it's meaningless to take them out. There, there's, that's not a way to get somewhere to make them walk. And remember now, on the, on the 24th of April is when they took out all of the men, all of the intellectuals. And uh, during the march, you're talking about very few men. Uh, most of it is women with their children and, and old people that are walking in the desert. And that's the anniversary coming up next week. Yes. And, and, and you're talking about uh, them taking all the men out. This film focuses on the orphans of the genocide. What message does it have, in your opinion? What, for those who are not Armenian. We, have, as a civilization, have to say, never again. Never again. Yet it continues happening. Uh, uh, th there is a group of people, and I don't care what religion they are, that don't like what we are. Or we don't like what they are. Or it's Western against uh, Eastern. It's Christian against Muslim. It's still going on where people just, and I, I, ha I hate to say the Rodney King thing, but they, we just can't get along. They are trying to make us into what they are. And that causes how many, how many deaths for no reason. And we're talking they about meaning, centuries. They meaning who? They meaning the Muslim Trying to make uh, us into Muslims. Y yes, the the uh, uh, the terrorist group. I mean, I have a lot of Muslim friends that do not uh, read and interpret the way the uh, right. radicals do. All right. Take a phone call here. Good morning. You're on Connect with me with Ken Davidian. How are you? I'm doing well today, uh, John. I want to know who do I put pressure on in our government to uh, to stop this? Uh, it, 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 it's like denying that, that the Holocaust in Germany ever happened if we had because we have bases in Germany. It's ridiculous to me. I'm not Armenian but I've grown up in this valley. You know, and uh it's it's terrible. Well I can't answer that. Well the first thing is your your own actual congressmen and senators. Okay. Because we have to get the United States to recognize the word genocide. And 70 other, or uh, more than 70, I, I don't know the exact number, of the United Nations countries, including France and Germany, and uh, they have recognized that this was a genocide. Once everyone does that, the hope is that Turkey itself will say, okay, yeah, we did it. And yeah. maybe we can go from there. Because Turkey and the country of Armenia are still bordered together. They still have to find a way to work together. Uh, and we want the country to become prosperous, but we need to get this one little ugly mark 
out. Over the hurdle. That's over it. the hump. We, we need to get that done. Okay, we're talking with Ken Davidian. He is the actor. He is promoting the film that's on the Valley PBS station tonight, Channel 18, Orphans of the Genocide. Please call in. That was a great first call we had, 559-436-6388. We'll continue in a moment. Oh, oh, stop. Stop what you're doing. Hi, my name is Ken Davidian. I want to invite you to join me and Valley PBS on Thursday, April the 18th at 7 p.m. We're screening the documentary Orphans of the Genocide. Join special guests, filmmaker Barrett Moronian and Ken Davidian live in the Valley PBS studio April 18th, only on Valley PBS. We need your support. So please tell a friend and watch. Thank you. Talking about the Armenian Genocide tonight, uh, the documentary is going to air on the Valley PBS station, Channel 18, of course. That's your public broadcasting station, 7 o'clock. It's a two-hour film, Orphans of the Genocide. Actor Ken Davidian has been kind enough to take his time and come in and be live with us in the studio today. I want to play just about a segment, about a minute 30 here, Ken, uh, a portion of the film of what many of our viewers will watch tonight on PBS. Let's take a look. My grandmother experienced the genocide by her own eyes. She was in Bush in 1915, in July, when the Turkish soldiers shelled the city and destroyed her working field, destroyed her orphanage, destroyed her clinic. They came back the door and took us out. And we had to walk. And they took my father early. Only women and children left. All the beautiful girls were were victims of some kind, you know, rape or uh, theft or, or kidnapping. Um, my mother said that they would use mud to rub on the faces of the beautiful women so they wouldn't look so attractive. Try to look like they had sores on their face, just to save them. My mother would talk about that all the time. And she would say, in Armenian, why did God do this? And she lost her faith. I do want to talk about the clip that we just saw, Ken, but let's take a phone call first here. Good morning, you're on Ken, uh, Connect With Me with Ken Davidian. Nope, you're not. Well, let me ask you about the film. You know, I could not sit through the entire movie Schindler's List. I could not. What can you tell people how they can brace themselves to, to, to stick it out and watch this for two hours? Oh, I, it's, it's not heart only heart-wrenching. It's... It is, it, and I had never learned this, it is extremely educational. And one of the things that kept me going from breaking and, and stop watching it was I was so curious that how could this have happened? What were they doing? So they, you have to sit through it. And I have to tell you, it's not just for PBS that we're doing this. PBS is great. I would, I would do something for PBS anyway. But PBS has said, if we show a great uh, 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 response in the Valley, that they would air this in all of their affiliates. So we're talking about a possibility of 200 and some affiliates across the nation. And that's why I'm, I, I hate to bring the responsibility here to the Fresno Valley, but if the Fresno Valley does good, then we can air this all nationwide. over. Nationwide. Yes, and nationwide. People, more people will know. And This then, should be a film that should be aired worldwide, well, not nationwide. One, that, one at a time. Yeah, all right. Another call here on Connect With Me. Good morning. You're on with Ken Davidian. How are you? I'm fine. Good. What's your question? Quick. Well, I have a comment and a question. First of all, I want to commend you for supporting this effort for Valley PBS. And how would one go about getting this um, broadcast on the other PBSs throughout the United States? What they have told us is if you have a good showing, and they, they obviously run on 
public money. So if we get enough donations for PBS, that they will consider putting it on the air across the country. Now, Ken, and that's what, my goal. What we, well, I thank you for the call very much. Uh, what we saw in that clip that, that we just aired there, what, you know, you have numerous people telling their own personal stories, their connection to the genocide. They've had family members, friends that were slaughtered from 1918 to 19, or 1915 to 1918. One of them being Dr. Jack Kevorkian. And some people might watch this film tonight and be shocked to see him in this, in this documentary. Yes, yes. I, he, but he is an Armenian. He's an or Armenian. Or he was, he was. And, and he, yes. And, and he had his mother that was the part of the, the genocide, and she, uh, she was the uh, thing that got him to, to get involved in this thing. And he does have, in, in the film, you will see a painting that I, I really want. So if anybody hears it, I, this, I really want this painting. I really fell in love with it, and I'll tell you why. It tells you the whole story about how the Armenian genocide was instrumental in Hitler having the uh, uh, Holocaust. It's a head, of a cut-off head, and they're holding the head up by the hair with a soldier, a, a, a Nazi soldier, and a, a Ottoman Empire soldier. Just uh, the sleeves, and I just thought it was heartbreaking. Another call. Good morning. You're on Connect with me with Ken Davidian. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Uh, I'm calling about my stepfather's mother. Okay. Uh, she came from Armenia, and she had. She said that she was thrown into a like a harem, and the owner put a tattoo on her hand, and she did have a tattoo on there. And she had children with this guy, and that she escaped mm. into France and had to leave her children. Boy, there, do you think that's true? We we have stories, and you will see it in the film where the lady has a tattoo on her chin and on her lip, and this was the way the Bedouins uh, uh, would mark their women. Why? That they, why? Why would they do that? I I think to make sure that that one's. That one's mine. Well, whether it's whatever. mine or not, it's not one of us. It's an yeah. Armenian person that we... Yeah, it's not a, a Muslim. Slave. It's an yeah. Armenian slave. So, right. uh, and one of the ladies came here, and after she had a family, uh, her sons, who went to college, and she had a great uh, family, and they helped her uh, find a doctor to take it off. Right. Uh, so, yes, I, I believe it's true. And another thing that was in the documentary that I saw last night that I was not aware of, the, the many of the women, they had mud on or put mud on their faces. What was the purpose of that? I, you know, that was, and this is another s small thing that you don't know about these things, but you're walking through the desert and the logic here was put the mud on, let it cake up, look ugly so that they won't take you and they won't rape you. Right, because you're talking about some beautiful women. Uh, that wanted 13, to, 14, they wanted 15 to, year old right, kids. They were raped. They were murdered. They were slaughtered. They were used as slaves. I mean, I, I have the same story. Uh, 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 my father and a lot of his friends were in a uh, German concentration camp, mm -hmm. an Armenian German concentration camp. And I know the lady who says everybody was fr afraid because the German soldier took me in the barn, he raped me, and now all of my family wanted to kill him, but, and it was like, leave him alone, leave him alone so we don't start trouble. It hap they, they do that. Another, they, another call before we go to break. Good morning, you're on with Ken Davidian. How are you? I'm just fine. I have a neighbor that was nine, as close as they can guess, her age was nine, and they put her out into, she was in the march out into the desert, mm -hmm. and she said, it, it, she, this is what she told me, she said some of the, the kids were put in an orphanage, and she said they were the lucky ones, because some of them were kidnapped, and she was one that was kidnapped and made a house slave, and I saw her lip, and her tattoo, mm -hmm. and when, when the, one of her fingers was broken at the end, in knuckle. Jeez. And she said that's what happened then. And she was able to, with some help of some people, um, get to, a, to the United States. But 
Oh, she was the sweetest, nicest, kindest, happiest person you'd ever want to be around. But that was during the day. At night, yeah. she cried. Yeah. You see, now, are you Armenian? Is she Ar the lady on the phone? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <I've been a> maybe. <laughs> That's interesting. But you see, the, the people that remember this are all leaving. And yeah. even your caller, uh, uh, we have to keep this alive. We have to have this next generation that is Absolutely. 16, 17, 18 to know what's going on. Because sooner or later, a uh, 100 year anniversary is coming up in two years. Yeah. We'll never get it in, in America because they'll forget about it. We, we've got to let yeah. you go, ma'am, because we're running out of time. I'm sorry. I want to oh, show yeah, another no, clip think. from the documentary. It's about a woman walking a hundred miles, Almas uh, Bogosian, featured in the documentary, let's roll the tape. The fear in Newbart's face, the horror in Marguerite's eyes, the destitute in their mother's vision, and the hesitant grip of her newborn child. In 1899, after the murder of her husband during the Hamidian massacres, she walked nearly 100 miles from the town of Kegi to Harput with her three fatherless children in tow and in search of food and shelter. The 105-year-old Almas Bahosian, once an Armenian genocide orphan as Almas Avakian, now lives in Whitensville, Massachusetts. She was eight years old when the Turkish soldiers evicted her family from their ancestral home to join thousands of other Armenian refugees in what became the starvation march to the desert of Derzor. Almas is the only survivor of the Avakian family of Harput province. I remember that when They came at the door and took us out, and we had to walk. And they took my father to Italy. The only woman and children left. And they killed their own mother, my father, and, and we walk and walk and some of them dying so kidding left in there and bonking. It's awful. I don't want to even remember it. Unfortunately, she passed away last year at the age of 105 years old, Ken. Yes. And with a large family, large, large family. So when when someone came up to her and said, I'm not getting my uh, uh, internet, it's not working, <laughs> what do you think she thought? Like, oh, if you only knew what I went through <laughs> yeah. to get she, to where I'm at. You know, huh? How do you go on after what she went through? They didn't talk about it. Yesterday I had dinner with an Armenian couple, a friend of mine from here, Fresno, and George says, my father was an orphan. I, I, I didn't know about it. They told me after he passed. He wouldn't talk about it. They don't talk about the, the atrocities that happened because they didn't want us to hold and carry the guilt. All right, here's the thing. We've got to keep the stories of the Armenian genocide alive. Tonight is the start. Uh, Orphans of the Genocide on the Valley PBS station, Channel 18. 7 o'clock, right? 7 o'clock. Okay, 7 to 9. And you're connect, you've got a connection to the genocide as well. With I your do. Family. My, 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 my grandmother, uh, her story was uh, my grandfather came on a white horse. I don't know if it was really a white horse, but he came and he got her out of a Bedouin group of people. And they came here and got married in uh, 1918. Ken, God bless you. Thank you. Come back again. Please watch. Okay, tonight, 7 o'clock, the Valley PBS station, Orphans of the Genocide. And Barrett Maronian is the writer, the producer. Watch it. We're back tomorrow with another edition of Connect With Me on Me TV Fresno.
that? Isn't that a great layout? You son of a gun. This campaign is no good. No good. Darren and Larry, the original Mad Men on Bewitched.